Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is the definitive edition of Telltale's The Walking Dead, the final season. That's right, we're at the final season. Before we jump in, just a couple of quick reminders. Uh, reminder number one, you are an awesome person, so be awesome to others. Reminder number two, YouTube is still having this weird bug thing where it's not pushing videos out to people through like browse or suggested suggestions or anything along those lines. It's some kind of weird issue they're going through. So it's kind of miraculous you even found this video. So if this is the sort of content that you enjoy, if you're liking these videos, please do consider using the subscribe button and setting your notifications. It really does, I mean, it, it's the only reliable way for you to know when I've uploaded a new video. Because like I said, YouTube isn't really sending them out right now, okay? All right, with all of that out of the way, let's jump into this, find out what's going on with this season, shall we? All right. Is Brody gonna come and yell at us some more? Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Before Do you like it? Blood? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games, and the walls make it feel safe. It's good, for now. But places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. I like the other one more. Why is that? It's scarier. That makes it cooler. Okay. Interesting way to look at it, I guess. Let's put ten drawing up. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, he's got a little bit of an ego on him, but, you know, it's all right, too. All right, I think that's all the collectibles we found, right? So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Hmm. Don't get too used to it. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. What the hell? 
There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Why would I be hearing voices coming through the pipes? Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. entrance to the basement around here. Can I can I look at the map? That would make finding it a lot easier. It's probably gonna be Assuming it's Storm Cellar style. Alright, so we can't walk past all of this stuff here, apparently. It's not there. Can I talk to her? Alright, she's asleep. Dog sleep outside. It's kind of messed up. No, wrong way. I mean, how do we know that it's the wrong way? Not the right way. They didn't hear that. Or me opening that door. There is no way they didn't hear that. They had to have heard that. Like, I get that they're yelling at each other, but. Terribly. We don't even know for sure it was that. She also said he got bit. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know that shit. Not the 
happened to you? There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Oh, we have to tell the others about what you did! Who's there? Show yourself! Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what- Shut up! Ah! you done? So, 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 so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Hell! Why did you say that, Brody? I told you not to say it! Please be okay. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just... Stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach, swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. You're a good person, Clem. I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Force it in there and lift up the latch. Mm-hmm. So Keep we're on a... In this dark. We have a time limit, though. It. That'll help. Where did the flashlight go? Yeah, but you're also going to have to 
beat her to death with the flashlight. Blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled in, murder. Well, fuck them. What the fuck, Marlin? Jesus Christ. You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me if Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Raiders? Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. First thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders is just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. But you have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! 
Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what Minnie wants you to do? She's my friend too. So sprouty. Clem, I. <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you two. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marvin. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all. Do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking <clears throat> expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. States, some kind of rescue. Honest, and I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. As soon as I go for the gun and start a physical confrontation, going Rose is gonna get loose. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. No, I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. doing copyrighted music screw that noise i did not expect that one okay uh 44 players chose to let aj go through the window in the train station okay 53 percent went fishing okay that's cool 71 percent convinced him to sleep on the bed that's good this kid is not even feral, like, he's borderline sociopathic. 78% attacked Abel rather than giving him food. Good. 
Sixty-one percent turned to Violet for help against Marlin. Okay. Interesting. I just I felt like she's more trustworthy than Lewis is. Okay, so AJ is hardened. He felt comforted when you convinced him to sleep in the bed. Satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. Marlin was relieved to be forgiven for his actions. Felt proud when you trusted with him with Rosie. He is now dead, though. Brody is also dead. Felt grateful when you resolved the conflict between her and Violet. Appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. Tan is feeling resentful. Frightened when you attacked him. You allowed him to draw you. He generously gifted you his drawing. Left Violet feeling guilty. Pleased after you complimented her and flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. How did I leave her feeling guilty, though? Left Lewis feeling heartbroken. Feeling ashamed for asking if you ever had to kill someone you loved. Okay. Moore was glad you checked in on him before dinner. Ruby perched, approved of you teaching AJ manners at dinner. Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills. Asim was glad you stopped AJ from reading his journal. Really fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. You learned how to bond with Rosie with Marlon's help. Okay. Uh, four out of six. So I missed a couple of flowers, it looks like. Interesting. Is this a... Uh, oh, okay. So this just takes us back to the menu. Okay. Interesting end to the episode there. Uh, I'm a little worried about AJ. Like, on one hand, yes, you do need to be a hard person to survive in this crazy world. At the same time, I don't know that Marlon was still a threat worthy of shooting him in the head. I feel like he was ready to just bail and head out. However, this does, the end of this episode does raise an interesting question. Depending on where these raiders, marauders, whatever you want to call them, are, and where they have ten sisters, is there a possibility of rescuing the sisters? Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of hard to figure that one out. Um, Marlin definitely had some issues, but I'm a little curious why he only gave up the two sisters and didn't give up Brody as well. Unless there was actually something going on between them. Well, either way, definitely an interesting first episode. And like I said, it's a much longer episode than I'm used to. Uh, it's definitely a return back to the episode lengths of the first season, which is a nice change. So... I guess we'll find out what happens in the next episode on the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on what happens in the next episode or in any other video I post, then subscribe now and use the notification bell. Get set so that you'll know whenever I upload a new video. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. Catch you in the next one.